My name is Ruth Walker and I'm an engineering lecturer at the Northern Regional College and this presentation gives an overview of some of the benchmarking activities that have taken place as part of the Women in STEM project. We have three steps to our recruitment process, attraction, access and retention. Attraction is from February to August where we try and entice people to apply for our courses. Access is where they apply and get enrolled on our courses from August to October. And retention is when we try to make sure that they stay on the course for the duration and that lasts for the full duration of the courses from August to June. Some of the benchmarking activities that we have undertaken since we last met are female only apprenticeship information sessions, women in STEM breakfast events for lecturers and other college staff, guest speaker events, promotional videos for women in STEM, a schools technology tournament and a bring it on event. During our female only apprenticeship information sessions, local schools were invited in to view our facilities and speak to our lecturing staff and mentors from industry. We had female specific groups set up to let the, the young students feel that they could ask questions that they maybe couldn't ask in front of their peers if there had been a larger male presence there. During our Women in STEM breakfast event, we invited members from across the college, different departments, who are good representatives of women in STEM. Here we were able to discuss difficulties in recruiting girls to our courses, share good practice and also make new connections across departments which we otherwise wouldn't um, normally be able to engage with. Throughout the year we have guest speaker events and this particular one was from Sensata Technologies which is a local engineering firm specialising in electronics. We had representatives there both from students, apprentices and also a female guest speaker delivering the talk. Throughout the year we create promotional videos all associated with women in STEM and these are all from our student perspective. I've linked them all in the presentation so you can watch them in your own time. Some of these are informal, quite ad hoc in the workshops and others are more formal interview style. Annually we hold a schools technology tournament where we invite schools from the local area in with year 10 pupils to complete a challenge where they have to design, manufacture and test a piece of equipment um, during a day's challenge. We normally have excellent representation across um, both male and female students applying and it's an always a very engaging event with positive feedback from local schools and from our own course teams as well. Finally, we have the Bring It On IT event, which again invites local schools into the college to test out our state of the art equipment and have a go at coding and various other careers in IT when they are a young age. And this involves us having good links with schools in order to let this happen. Some of the actions that need to be carried out to sustain our benchmarking activities are we need to have strong female role models from the college, local companies and we need to make sure that they fully engage with both our post-primary schools and potential applicants to STEM courses. The college focuses on having a good strong media presence and promoting women in STEM. Events are spread throughout the academic year to maintain interest and women in STEM groups are encouraged to meet outside of class time, outside of normal timetabled events to share good practice. There's a few factors that affect the success and failure. We have to have support from local schools to, in order to enable students and pupils to attend. The scheduling of events is important to ensure maximum attendance. The interest and motivation of role models who are women in STEM is important that we have this across the board right from senior positions to admin staff to lecturing staff and the college has to support us in this in both terms of budget and facilities. Thank you very much for listening.